Hi there. Now for this question, we're given this table here, which summarizes the time in T minutes to the nearest minute recorded for a group of students to complete an exam. And we're given this summary statistic here that sigma ft squared equals 134281.25. And we're asked to estimate the mean and the standard deviation of these data for five marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward to the end just to check the final answers, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now in order to find the mean and standard deviation actually for these data, we need to establish first of all the midpoints for each of these class intervals. And we do that by looking at the lower boundary and the upper boundary. Now because they're measured to the nearest minute, the lower boundary here would be 10.5 and the upper boundary would be 20.5. For this class interval here, it would be 20.5. 25.5 and so on all the way through the table. So to get a midpoint what we could do first of all for this class interval here is do 10.5 plus 20.5 and that answer divided by 2 and repeat that process for each one of these. Okay or for this particular table, not all tables but for this particular table because you're 0.5 below and 0.5 above because we've got that symmetry, you could get away with just adding these two values together, 11 plus 20, and then dividing by 2. So 31 divided by 2 gives you 15.5. And so if you do this and construct a table, and I've prepared this already, so I'll just run through it. You've got this midpoint here. First class interval then is 15.5. The second class interval is... 23 for the midpoint and so on. And then I've jotted down the frequencies that we've got here, F. Now to estimate the mean, I'll just put it down here, the estimated mean. Okay, it's not the true mean by the way because we haven't got the exact values, we've got everything grouped together. So the estimated mean, I'll call X bar then, is equal to the sum, sigma, okay, of f times t and that is divided by the total of our frequency sigma f. So that's why this column I've put down my frequencies that we've got here and I've totaled them we've got 200 students in other words and I need to get the sum of the frequencies times the midpoint. This gives us subtotals, if you like, for each one of these classes. So we could get an estimate that 62 students, for instance, scored roughly 961 marks. 88 students scored roughly a total of 2,024 marks, and so on. So by adding this column here gives us the total or estimated total of all of the students' marks. And so we need to divide this by the 200. So if we just put the working down, that is that we've got 4837.5 and we're dividing it by 200. And if you do that, let's just come down here, that mean x bar turns out to be equal to 24.1875. And if we give this to three significant figures, then that estimated mean is 24.2 to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Now next, we have to work out an estimate for the standard deviation for this set of data. So if we're working out the standard deviation, let's just write it down here, then for this particular set of data, 
it's going to be equal to this formula here which you should be familiar with you'll generally see it in your formula book square roots then of the sum sigma of f t squared divided by some form books have n here or you can have sigma f the total number of students in this particular case and then it's minus the mean squared which is x bar in this case squared so we just need to fill in our values here we've got then the square root of 134281.25 it was given up here it's divided by the total frequency which is 200 and then minus the mean we'll take the unrounded version here 24.1875 that's squared let's just extend that and really this root sign should come right the way down over this 200 so what I'll do is I'll just put that in brackets there okay to signify that we're square rooting the whole lot and if you do that you end up with 9.29 three six and so on and giving this also to three significant figures it's going to be 9.29 then to three sf right